Hello, Trends in Dartmouth. This is Ms. Lisa. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Uh, today we're going to do one lesson. We're going to do a lesson 129. So I need everybody sitting up like star students, hands on knees, and we're tracking the speaker. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll read the word in red, then you'll spell it. Here we go. This word is service. What word? Spell it. Get ready. S E R V I C E. What word? Service. This word is false. What word? Spell false. Get ready. Capital F A L S E. What word? Yes, false. This word is dental. What word? Spell it. Get ready. D E N T A L. What word? Dental. This word is trouble. What word? Spell it. Get ready. T R O U B L E. What word? Trouble. This word is number. What word? Spell it. Get ready. N U M B E R. What word? Yes, number. Now we're going to read the whole column the fast way. Get ready. Service. Get ready. Faults. Get ready. Dental. Get ready. Trouble. Get ready. Number. Get ready. Loud. Last word, think big. Get ready. Truck. First, you're going to read the underlined part. Then, you're going to read the word the fast way. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. Rent. Now, tell me the whole word. Get ready. Rented. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. Answer. Now tell me the whole word. Get ready. Answered. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. Does. Now tell me the whole word. Get ready. Doesn't. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. Day. Now say the whole word. Get ready. Today. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. Where. Now tell me the whole word. Get ready. Where's. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. It. Now tell me the whole word. Get ready. It's. Tell me the underlined part. Get ready. I. Now tell me the whole word. Get ready. I'll. Good job reading the underlined part, then reading the word the fast way. You're going to read these two columns the fast way, so make sure you guys are moving around. Get ready. Bring. Get ready. Time. Get ready. Tim. Get ready. Stuff. Get ready. Teeth. Get ready. Until. Get ready. Able. Move your mouth. Get ready. Trips. Get ready. Trunk. Get ready. Bone. 
Get ready. Strange. Get ready. Load. Make sure we're moving if we're looking at the end of the word. Get ready. Move. Last word. Get ready. Yes, cat. Good job reading the both columns the fast way. First, you're going to spell the words. Then you're going to say them the fast way. Spell it. Get ready. D O L L A R S. What word? Dollars. Spell it. Get ready. R E N T A L. What word? Rental. Spell it. Get ready. F A C E. Get ready. Face. Spell it. Get ready. P U T. What word? Put. Spell it. Get ready. D R I B E. What word? Drive. Spell it. Get ready. C A R E. What word? Care. Last word. Spell it. Get ready. C A P E. What word? Yes, cape. Good job spelling the words and reading them the fast way. At this time, you guys can go ahead and press pause on the video so you guys can get your storybook on page 132 and 133, story 129. When you are ready, go ahead and press play and put your finger on the title. Let's read it. Get ready. A man brings false teeth. Say it the fast way. Get ready. A man brings false teeth. Yes. Let's put our finger in the first word of the story and read. Get ready. Kim was mad. She wanted to take her things to a house on the other side of town, but she didn't have a truck. She sent for a van, but she got a van. Then she sent for a truck and she got a trunk. So what did she get instead of a van? Get ready. A van. And what did she get instead of a truck? Get ready. A trunk. Let's continue reading. Get ready. Kim picked up the phone book and said, This time I will look up a rental car. I can't get all of my stuff into a rental car, but I will make two or three trips in the car. In that way, I will be able to get my stuff to the other side of town. So Kim went through the phone book. Then she stopped to read a phone number. But she was not looking under the words rental car. She was looking under the words dental care. So was she looking under rental car? What was she looking under? Get ready. Dental care. Yes. Let's continue. Get ready. Kim was calling 
a man who made false teeth. When the man answered the phone, Kim said, Hello, do you have something I, next page, can rent today? I'll just need it for one day. The man said, You want to rent just for the day? That's a strange thing to do. Do you have anything to rent? Kim said. Well, yes, I do, the man said. It may not fit, but I can bring it over. That will be fine, Kim said. Soon the doorbell rang. Kim opened the door. The man was standing there holding a set of false teeth. What was he holding? False teeth. Continue. Get ready. Kim said, where's your car? It's out on the street, the man said. And here are your false teeth. I'll let you have them for ten dollars a day. I don't need teeth, Kim said. I need a car. That's why I called you. You said that you would Bring me a car. Turn the page. First word, get ready. No, I didn't, the man said. I told you I would bring you a set of false teeth. Kim picked up the phone book. She said, look at this. I'll show you that your name is under rental card. Kim opened the book. The man said, That doesn't say rental car. It says dental care. Now Kim had a vein and a trunk and a set of rented teeth. All right, boys and girls, now you're gonna go ahead and follow me with your finger. I'm gonna go ahead and read this story to you so you can hear the way it should sound. Reading fluently. Okay, finger under the title. Let's start. A man brings false teeth. Kim was mad. She wanted to take her things to a house on the other side of town. But she didn't have a truck. She sent for a van, but she got a vein. Then she sent for a truck, and she got a trunk. Kim picked up the phone book and said, This time I will look up a rental car. I can't get all of my stuff into a rental car, but I will make two or three trips in the car. And that way, I will be able to get my stuff to the other side of town. So Kim went through the phone book. Then she stopped to read a phone number. But she was not looking under the words rental car. She was looking under the words dental care. Kim was calling a man who made false teeth. When the man answered the phone, Kim said, Hello, do you have something I can rent today? I'll just need it for one day. The man said, You want to rent just for one day? That's a strange thing to do. Do you have anything to rent? Kim said. Well, yes I do, the man said. It may not fit but I can bring it over. That will be fine, Kim said. Soon the doorbell rang. Kim opened the door. The man was standing there holding a set of false teeth. Kim said, where's your car? It's out in the street, the man said, and here are your false teeth. 
I'll let you have them for $10 a day. I don't need teeth, Kim said. I need a car. That's why I called you. You said that you would bring me a car. Turn the page, put your finger in the first word. No, I didn't, the man said. I told you I would bring you a set of false teeth. Kim picked up the phone book. She said, look at this. I'll show you that your name is under rental car. Kim opened the book. The man said, that doesn't say rental car. It says dental care. Now Kim had a vein and a trunk and a set of rented teeth. More next time. All right, boys and girls, now let's talk about the picture. What is that on the man's table? False teeth, yes. And look at her phone book. What is the phone book saying? Dental care, yes. Poor Kim, she was getting all the wrong things. All right, boys and girls, we have reached the, the end of the lesson. Don't forget to do your worksheet 129 front and back. Make sure you complete it. You read the story two more times and you take a picture of your exit ticket, which are questions one through seven. Bye-bye until tomorrow.